Jeff, uh, exactly what's happening at the moment and what's it like for the crew? Well, they have just announced to us that they can see the coast. They can see Edwards Air Force Base, and their most incredible sensation now is one of Range speed. They're the still going faster than 4,000 miles an hour. Remember that they've just ridden through a, an incredible fireball. Uh, they're now feeling the force of almost twice gravity pushing them into their seats, which after a few days of weightlessness feels a lot heavier than that. Uh, they're taking ground navigational data and they're preparing for a landing in uh, just a short time. Jeff, uh, you've gone through this experience. When the spacecraft turns upside down and begins flying backward for the D orbit burn, and you know that it's going to be an incredibly dangerous, what, at least six or seven minutes, what goes through the astronauts' minds? Well, <laughs> we, uh, we hope that all our equipment works well. Uh, to be honest, there's no up or down in space, so it's, it's hard to tell which direction you're pointing. But uh, we all know what's coming, and uh, it's, uh, it's quite a ride, I'll tell you. Um, right now, it shouldn't be too long before they come into view. And yes, there, there they are. We're, they're actually picking them up in the long-range camera. Uh, this is a live picture of Space Shuttle Discovery. What a beautiful sight. On its way in, a, as we've said to you before, this is the first true space Discovery at 101,000 uh, It takes off like a rocket, flies like a spaceship, and then lands like an airplane. And that's exactly what it will be doing in these next few moments. Let's just pause and through the clouds, a little under through the atmosphere, miles, uh, through the mist, the runway now. way out there, let's watch and listen to mission control as Discovery comes into view and prepares to land. Discovery Houston, take air data to GNC only. GNC only, Loco. That was from inside the spacecraft. Discovery Talking Houston, take control. air data to NAV. Roger. Mission Control, those commands uh, increase the fidelity of the tracking aboard Discovery and uh, puts her more precisely on our energy and ground track and uh, heading into the Edwards area. She's now at an altitude of 84,000 feet, moving at a rate of 2,400 feet per second, descending at a rate of 274 feet per second. Brian Welch, 57 miles to the runway now. And Dan, at this point, the crew is picking up a tremendous wind noise of, as the uh, air is rushing past outside the shuttle. Jeff Hoffman, uh, astronaut, helping us here. What a sense of, of, of relief and triumph it must be when you realize that you're down to only, say, 75, 80,000 feet, and you have the runway at Edwards, if not in view, virtually in view. Dan, at, at this point, there's no sense of relief yet. There's still a lot of flying to do, and that's what they're thinking about, 100%. The pilot and in charge of this flight, Captain Frederick Mission Control of Houston, we're now looking at uh, years old discovery and passing overhead. So many combat missions over the camera Vietnam, and dry flight research. So many facility. thousands of hours of flight time. Your second in command, Richard Dick Covey. Covey actually has the title of shuttle pilot. Alk has the title Our of shuttle energy commander. status is uh, right on the money, which means Discovery is coming right down the exact uh, uh, entry and glide slope that uh, is pre-programmed and uh, preferred. Her velocity now 1,300 feet per second. She's at about 62,000 feet, about 32 miles away from touchdown on runway 17 at Edwards Air Force Base. And if all goes well, that touchdown will be about three and a half minutes from now. We're three and a half minutes from touchdown if all goes well. One should not underestimate what a ticklish maneuver it is to get this spacecraft down. We're talking about uh, Dick Covey, the shuttle pilot. Rick Houck being the shuttle commander. Covey is another veteran of Discovery thousands is of hours of flight and she will many of those hours in combat over North Vietnam. She'll be making a left overhead turn. 
hey, who can be blase about this? Look at this. Turn angle is 249 degrees. They'll be shooting for the nominal lane point on the Edwards 17 runway. And Dan, the crowd out here is has that, uh, picked up, uh, she will, uh, picked up this down coverage. About There's a real boom, a real the sense of excitement. Uh, reporters, cameramen all lined up here pointing toward the sky. Uh, almost for the moment, uh, forgetting why they're out here to, to, uh, to photograph the event. Covey the pilot, out the shuttle commander, and they're the two in charge of this very difficult and dangerous maneuver of getting the shuttle down. Velocity 871 feet per second. On approach to the runway, the shuttle flies through a large circle called the heading alignment cylinder. Now that Dan, is there to place it uh, on the proper glide path at the proper angle on attack. And yes, uh, David, we just caught the sonic boom so far there in the distance. Flight dynamics officer reports discovery is now on the hat. The heading line the circle, she's making her left overhead turn and looking good. Let's pick up the voice of vision control now and watch and listen as the shuttle Discovery Houston, recommend uh, vector transfer to the BFS. Yeah. We're up. <laughs> and you got a loud squeal at the beginning of that transmission. Roger, copy. Okay, that sounds good. Discovery at 23,000 feet. Her range to touch down about 9.5 nautical miles. She's moving at 663 feet per second. Now at about 20,000 feet. A little more than midway around her uh, left overhead turn. As she lines up for her approach to the uh, Edwards 17 runway on a desert like that. Officer reports discovery looking good, rolling on to final. Now at about 14,000 feet, range 8.1 nautical miles. Discovery will execute her pre-flare maneuver. She's now at about 6,500 feet, descending, descending at a rate of 180 feet per second. Speed 550 feet per second. This stage down that glide slope is about seven times out of the commercial airliner. They're flaring out, there comes the landing gear. Gear are down. control. Main gear touchdown. Commander out now rotating the nose down, standing by for nose gear and touchdown.
Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning. Thanks a lot. This is Discovery. How do you read? Thank you very much, and I read you loud and clear. Discovery Houston, one Delta. Roger. We'd like the secondary controller to offer. And as the strains of the Star Spangled Banner fade in the distance on the loudspeaker at Edgar J. Force Base, Discovery is back home. Well done, Captain Frederick Houck, the shuttle commander, Richard Covey, the shuttle pilot, David Hilmers, mission specialist, John M. Lounge, mission specialist, and George Nelson, mission specialist.